Hi, my name is Jasmine and I am a recent graduate of California State University of Long Beach and today I will be interviewing Sam Gallier. Sam is a CNC shop manager at World Class Prototypes. Sam is also a member of WMIA. WMIA stands for the Woodworking Machinery Industry Association and WMIA's mission is to establish a platform for its members to network and present the best global technology services and information to the North American marketplace. Hi, Sam. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing great. Great. So could you describe what a typical workday entails and what the first few years in your career was like? Absolutely. So I'm in a unique position. I'm a recent graduate from college. Um, I've been in the industry for uh, about three to four months now. Yeah. Um, so. A typical day in the industry for me, um, I work in a prototyping shop, which is a very unique um, place in the woodworking industry in that things that go through our door, we usually only see once or twice. We'll build one of them or five of them, and then we'll never see that project again. So every day when I come to work, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, it could be something different every single day. And as a, a CNC uh, shop manager, I do CAD, CAM design, so computer-aided drafting and uh, computer-aided manufacturing. So I program and operate a five-axis CNC up here in Holland, Michigan. Wow. Okay. So um, what high school courses or college courses have you found to be the most applicable or important for your occupation? or what courses do you wish you would have taken? Yeah, so, so the courses that are most valuable to me are, are the computer-based skills. Um, the direction that manufacturing is going nowadays, there's a lot of automation um, with CNC and, and CAD and all that stuff. So um, the like AutoCAD classes I took in high school and through college and um, those programming classes that I took were, were very useful. Because when you get into the industry, um, you'll learn that there's some older folks in the industry and that transition, these, these younger kids that are coming in into the workforce um, that are technologically educated um, are the ones who are going to keep this industry going forward. Um, so all those computer skills are very important in my opinion. Okay. And when you were taking those courses, did you already know that this is what you wanted to, to, to do or... Did it just so happen to be that you were taking those courses and they just helped you? Yeah. So my background is I just like making stuff. I like working with my hands. Um, yeah. So I just like building stuff. And then through that, I learned there's a whole technology um, related to all that stuff. So it's a balance of technology and craftsmanship nowadays in the woodworking industry. Okay. Good to know. So what part-time jobs, apprenticeships, internships, or extracurricular activities would best prepare you for this occupation, you think? Yeah, so, so through college, um, I was in school for six years. I got a four-year bachelor degree and then a two-year master's degree. Um, so every summer while I was in school, uh, I did an internship, and I did internships at six different companies all across the United States. Really? Um, just to kind of feel out what I like, what I don't like. Um, Cause when you look at the wood industry, there's people that do windows and doors, store fixtures, um, production cabinets. So there's tons of facets to the industry. So uh, I wanted to experience all of them and kind of pick what, what fit me the best. So. Okay. And you would say that um, the position that you have now, you had an internship that kind of led you into this position. Yeah, absolutely. I, I tried out all these other companies and, and I kind of decided I like um, something new and fresh all the time. So, yeah. so that's why I went the prototyping route um, where we may serve all those other companies, but um, we're not uh, making one specific product all the time. Right. And could I ask what you majored in and what you got your master's in? Yeah, my, uh, my major was wood technology at uh, Pittsburgh State University. Okay. And I got my master's in technology, so um, more technology management, um, stuff like that, quality management type of stuff. Okay, cool. Very good to know. 
So um, I want to talk a little bit about WMIA. Mm -hmm. So what are the benefits of being a member for people who don't know? Uh, probably the biggest benefit would be networking. Um, through this organization, there's, there's professionals from companies all across the United States that do different things, have different experience. So it's a way to interact and meet and mingle with those folks and okay. um, kind of see what they're doing, what I can do better, um, things of that nature. And for me, through the job search, uh, it was a big resource meeting um, people from all over the country through that organization um, to make some connections that um, could turn into a full-time career. Right. And for me as well, through uh, my undergraduate, um, WMIA uh, offers scholarships. So a huh. large portion of my schooling was um, covered through WMIA through scholarships. They're always continuing to support education and get, get kids entered into this industry. That's really awesome. Wow, I had no idea that something like that existed. Yep. Um, so you talked a little bit about the networking aspect of WMIA, but what other like educational opportunities are offered by them? Yeah, so, so at different conferences, um, they'll have speakers that are experts in different fields. Um, so you can sit down and listen to, to an expert on a certain subject, whether it's okay. um, a cabinet maker or um, about finishing, like different finishes that go on wood. So, so oh, yeah. different, different people from the organization can share their experiences and expertise. Awesome. Okay. So what did you find most surprising about this career? Uh, the biggest surprise to me was coming, let's flash back to when I was in high school. I think of the wood industry. Um, I picture an old guy at a bench building a rocking chair, right? A lot yeah. of people think that or a cabinet, I'm hammering together a cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, the woodworking industry is completely different than that. And I think a lot of people's uh, mindset kind of reverts back to what I thought when I was in high school. Yeah. Um, but there's, there's so much more to it than that. We have engineers, project managers, we have salespeople. Um, there's, you could take pretty much any personality and then find them a job or a, a place they'd be happy and their skill set jives with yeah. in the industry. So. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's a really good point to make because mm -hmm. I feel like people imagine exactly what you said, you know, because mm -hmm. I imagine something similar to that, but it's a lot more complex than it seems. And this is really good information. So thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we're getting towards the end of the interview now, but before we end, is there anything else you would like to add or think would help, in, help someone considering this occupation? Um, so the biggest piece of advice I'd give to somebody is um, find something you love and it's possible to turn that love into a career. So for me, I was thinking, oh, I could go be a doctor. I was enrolled to go into biology. And at the end of the day, I was like, I like making stuff and I'm making a really, really good career now making stuff in the wood industry. So um, yeah. find something you love and you're never going to work a day in your life. That's uh that's very lovely, very lovely note. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Q Career. Go to the Q Career website to learn more about WMIA and how they can help you with your career development. Until next time, have a good week. Bye. Bye.